One of the best things that I've ever done is that I pulled together a program called An Evening with Doug. And it was at my church, Live Oak Unitarian. And during that period of time, from his diagnosis on to the evening with Doug, he was in and out of his ability to function well, and I was rather nervous. And so he loved the idea when I suggested to him, and it seemed like the most natural thing in the world to me to do, an evening with Doug. But my, I, what I was nervous about was that, you know, he wasn't going to be up for that evening. And so what I did is, is I had him come in and I actually videoed him doing a, a, a dry run relative to it. But the night came and he sat there as Professor Doug. He wore my black beret because his hair had, had gone. And for an hour, Professor Doug shared with us, and it was marvelous. We took a break, and we came back, and Doug, who was the consummate interfather in this community and social justice person, he then dialogued with Rabbi Cohen and Imam Yama, and it was a magical night. And uh, I captured all of that on, on video and for any of those you that might be interested in it. Backing up to a moment to when Doug was in the hospital and received his diagnosis, uh, he moved quite quickly. And at that point in time, Ken had come on board about six months before, and he had been able to create the downtown Alameda Park. Um, our Ladies of Sorrow successfully. And there were some of us that were fairly nervous about going downtown because here, you know, we're amongst the quietest in, in the neighborhood of, of, of Isla Vista. And going down into the center of Santa Barbara was, was a bit of a challenge. Um, but Ken also wrote an incredible letter reflecting on why he wanted to be a part of Showers of Blessing. And I encourage him someday to, to share that with the rest of you. But it, it was this magnificent uh, reaching out to how he saw that maybe being the most important thing in his life. In, in the three years that have passed since then, uh, Ken has carried on from Doug in really a, a magnificent way. And, 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 and Ken himself seems more like a pastor than the career that, that he had had. So Ken has now brought this to levels that when we were initially looking at, at, at the plan, he's taken us to levels that those of us that were more early involved never envisioned. And it's been very special. And each of you here have been a little part of that specialness. And so I want to honor the memory of Doug, which is still the only person that still makes me cry, and the wonderful job that Ken has done and the magnificence of showers of blessing and how we have been able to make a difference in so many people's lives. Well, that's how, uh, how we got started. Of course, it's missing all of those personal stories of each life that we touched uh, during all of that time. Um, I would point out, Kona. Kona's right there. Mm -hmm. Kona has been helping at this site right from the very beginning. <laughs> amazing, it's amazing. There are a whole lot of people who've been involved in this project. It's really not about me, it's about uh, you and all the people who have made it work, like Kona 
or I want to hold up uh, another one of our amazing uh, people, and that's uh, Wade, wherever Wade is. Wade, where are you? There he is. Ah, he's hiding out. Wade has been magnificent. He's one of our uh, uh, two uh, site managers now. Uh, I think he actually covers four of our sites, and then our new uh, site manager, John Diaz, 